In recent times, there have been massive investments by companies and firms in internal databases. And this has provided us the means to provide uh, an unprecedented look at uh, the behavior of employees, the uh, interaction of those employees with the firm's customers, and uh, a new way to think about and quantify employee productivity. So my research is about taking these uh, very large big data sets on the internal organization of firms to better understand employee productivity, to better understand the design of incentive systems, and to better understand how these two aspects can be brought together to improve the interaction of a company with its customers. There are two kinds of data that we are talking about here. One is on the internal behavior of firms of the type uh, routinely collected by human resources management systems or of the type collected routinely by ERP systems or enterprise resource planning software, which collects data on uh, what your employees are doing, how they are spending time on their activities, and combining this with compensation data. For example, the salaries, quotas, commissions. Putting these two aspects together, we can ask which salaries work, which quotas work, which bonuses work for which sales agent? And ask the more broader question, should we have bonuses at all? Do quotas work well? Quotas and bonuses and commissions have very good incentive properties because they give you a lot of incentives to put in a lot of effort because they form a goal that you have to work towards in order to earn commissions. While that is true, the flip side is many people understand that uh, quotas and things like these also have some bad properties related to gaming or timing issues. If salespeople are gaming the quota in this manner, it can actually create some really bad behavior and distortions. In the past, in theory, it was thought that these distortions are interesting, but intellectually uh, a curiosum, maybe not that important in the real world. Some of the insights that we have been able to generate using real data from real companies is that the magnitudes of these distortions can be so huge that the positive effects of quotas and bonuses may well be overwhelmed if they are not designed correctly because these distortions just have a huge magnitude. Different people are different. There is a lot of heterogeneity among salespeople amongst your employees. And it's not likely to be the case that there is a one-size-fits-all fit, approach. The value of the data is that we can actually measure heterogeneity in employees, uh, employee skill, and we can look at the data and say that this employee in this particular territory, for every time he called on a particular doctor, his conversion of a call into sales volume is very high, while some other employee, uh, when he called on the doctor for the same number of calls, his conversion or production of sales is very low. So we have the ability to uh, use the data to fine tune contracts to the individual employee level. For example, certain kinds of employees who are quote unquote high powered might prefer that most of their uh, compensation is coming from commissions as opposed to straight salary. So if you hi hire the right kind of employees, you could make a commission based system work much better than if you have employees who prefer straight salary. On the other hand, if you are forced because of uh, institutional or within company considerations that you can have only a particular kind of incentive scheme, you might think, well, I need to hire the right kind of employees in order to make this incentive scheme work. What I'm trying to say here is that the hiring and firing of employees as well as the design of incentives to incent them have to go hand in hand. Mm -hmm. 